Hey, good morning! By some mysterious algorithmic twist of fate, you've dropped into the John Freitag channel. And I'm pretty much done with this project here. It's the old uh, junkyard caddy, but just want to show you this, because we're having a car show today down at Red Rock, and I'm going to put it in. It's not really a show, more of a cruise in, but I think we'll drive it in. But, but first, I'm going to head off and go to church. I'd really like to give a big shout out to all the guys who've been writing comments to me on this car and giving me encouragement and telling me how they think it looks great. Thanks, man, it really helps. I tell you what, it's added a whole level of fun. I mean, doing this kind of stuff for me is fun. I like working, I like working on this kind of stuff, especially. Uh, I like restoring stuff and I like stepping back and saying, wow, that looks really great. Kind of happy I did it, it's, it looks great, but added to that the comments and all the encouragement from you guys you know who you are new subscribers old subscribers all you guys your encouragement just gave me so much more ambition and drive to get this thing done uh a little bit of accountability too because i really wanted to get it done for you guys too so it's not just a matter of me getting this car done i feel like it's a matter of getting this car done i didn't want to let you guys down either so this is I just, I don't even know what to say. Just thanks from the bottom of my heart. So it's first thing in the morning, I'm sitting at the forever traffic light. And it's, I noticed that there's a little bit more engine noise in this car than there would be in your typical Cadillac, but it dawned on me. I never put jute under the carpets. So I think that really helps deaden noise. Sure, it might be a little noisier than it used to be when it was first new, but you know what? I don't mind it. I kind of like it, really. I can hear the motor, and since my speedometer doesn't work anymore, <laughs> and no tachometer and no gas gauge. Yeah. Okay, so I'm washing up the old girl, and what am I finding? Leaks. <laughs> of course. Every step of the way is a new challenge. So anyway, I got a leak coming right here. There's a drop of water. Can you see it? Yep, coming in through the windshield. So I guess I should have sealed that up. And of course, it's going to leak around here. I mean, there's just no way around that. And even the trunk with the brand new seal, somehow, maybe because it's so darn big, I don't know, somehow, water's getting into the trunk. So the old girl's going to have to live inside. We're not going to be able to leave this without a roof. Uh, the way I got it figured out. But don't worry, I got big enough rust hole still to drain any water out. I guess that's something I had to get at. Well, it happened. The Empress is turning this into the cater caddy. We don't need three. I hope not. No, you'll have two. We'll find you out. Have a bag. What you do, break it? Sammy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just pops right She's out. She's just reconstructing. You got to go in another different cater gator? Yeah. Yeah. So this, might as well close this door, right? I do like that. That's got a, it's got like a beer ride back there, Eddie. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's awesome. I like that it's essentially matching colors with our cater gator. <laughs> Black and red, that's what we use. Perfect. Yeah. The paint job's beautiful. So. Thank you. Thank you. Don't look at the flaws. Uh, I don't see any. <laughs> That's that's why you make things shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a good buff and wax. Wax and buff. Right. Wax, buff, cut and buff, that's all? Get that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit. The Empress is hauling. Nobody's figured out yet that I'm not doing nothing because I can hold a camera. Oh, well, believe me, I've figured oh, it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta do all the driving. Actually, I just stay out of the way because I don't know what I'm doing with this catering stuff. I got it pretty under control. It's a well-oiled machine. Yeah, the chicken's fine there. Okay. It'll stay hot. I was thinking about these hinges and how I didn't paint them. I'm never right. gonna. We're off, honey. We're doing our first cater in the cater caddy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Thrilling! <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be limited though because it doesn't hold the gators very well. No, as big as the car is, there's no room somehow. So it's gonna be smaller type. Cause I'm not thrilled how that's sitting back there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta take it easy. We're going around this corner a little fast, aren't we? But how would we know our Speedo does not work? <laughs> you know what I like best about this car? Is the way all the windows go down and there's no posts. Sedan DeVille. I don't know, we're riding along, we're getting a vibration, a very serious one. I don't know if it's a tire or what. It seems like it's not driveline, because if I step on it, it doesn't change it. If I let off, it doesn't change it. It's not doing it right now. No, it's not. Oh, because right now I'm standing on the brakes. We're going down this hill. It could be a bad rotor, too. Could be a bad rotor. I think I might have a tight caliper. Hmm, never know. And then when rotors warm up, then they warp a little bit and they'll make a shimmy or a shake if I got a tight. But my pedal's really hard. I don't remember it being real hard when I first was driving this car, but it's getting hard now. But it stops really hard. I wonder if I got a seized up bad caliper. Could be. If it's any kind, I don't know if this is important, but under my left foot, it's 
it's shaking like crazy. Oh, well, could be. Could be a bad universal too. But now it's not. It was when we were on 171, but yep. when you slowed down into town, oh, it's starting again. Is it already? Yeah. Just faintly, I can feel it. Yeah, I don't feel it at all in the car. Just a tiny bit under my left foot. Now we're doing maybe 15 or 20. Well, we just got to make sure we get to the cater after that. Oof. Right? We got suspense going That's on right. now, honey. Get to there's, the cater. There's suspense. <laughs> I don't feel it now. Nope. Oh, close, yeah. We'll close do. by. Well, let's face it. The old girl's 53 years old. I got 10 years on her. <laughs> I'm still going strong. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh oh, you know what you did. You just told anybody who can do math your age. <laughs> You don't I care, do you? What I, no, I don't care. I know. I'm just teasing you. People get worried about being old. It beats the alternative. Sure does. I earned my age. Yes. Every minute of it. Yep. Roll along smooth as silk now, ain't it? Yeah, I'm not getting that uh, vibration under my foot. Yeah, going around the corner is like, it's like riding in a boat. Mm -hmm. We didn't call them boats for nothing back in the day, even. <laughs> I know. Well, a big old boat. Yep. That's exactly what it is, a big old Remember boat. Remember when boat, when cars um, this size were the norm. Yeah. Well, the, even then, this was the upper end of it. <laughs> yeah. But still. Big old Cadillacs. Yeah, it used to be all, all of them were just bigger. Now everybody wants little SUVs or crossovers. And all, they all look the same. Yeah. I can't I, tell a Toyota from a Hyundai from a... Cadillac. Anything. Yeah, Cadillac. They all look the same to me. And the smallest one seems to be that little Buick GS, Encore GS. Actually, that's not. The Buick Encore, that's not the GS, is even smaller than that. So, I don't know. Buicks are small and Hondas are big. There's nothing striking or exceptional about luxury cars anymore. They, they don't, I don't know. No. I mean, all the bells and whistles, I guess, are on the, you know, oh electronic side and the seats and that kind of thing. The technology. Yeah. Which I could give a rat's ass about. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel a little more comfortable now. It's not vibrating like mad. Breaking down is one thing, but breaking down when you have to be to a cater in 10 minutes and the people are expecting food, it's something entirely different. Yes, the pressure is... Uh on. Yeah, a little pressure. We really... Especially for like, this group, who are good friends and... Uh, well, they're yeah, they're business associates, too. <laughs> and they, <them> too. <laughs> they do weddings and, <laughs> and, we, and we cater, cater a lot. Venue. So, yeah. Maybe it wasn't the one to pick for the maiden voyage of the cater caddy. Mm -hmm. Alias Junkyard Caddy. We'll see. Now I smell heat. Are you kidding? I don't see anything lit up. No, it's fine. I just, I just smell a little, little warm. So, something's a little warm. Could be junk from 20 years sitting in a field burning off a pipe. You know, this hasn't, this hasn't gotten this warm yet. About the furthest I've gone with. Is building a deck. Oh wow, there. that's nice. And that house really needed it too. Yep. Looks good. Yeah, it does. He does nice work. Well, now we're on a dirt road. But you know what? We put the car together so we could drive it. So here we are on a dirt road. I'm hearing rocks hitting. The oh my gosh. I feel every one of them. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't care even in the least, do you, honey? Mm, eh. It's important to you, I know, but no, I don't. No. So we had a successful cater drop off. Yep. Everything went 99% well. <laughs> Does that make sense? Edit. Uh, things went pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, everything's set up and ready to go. And uh, happy birthday, Mark. Yeah. One of the greatest guys around here, an old farmer, a 90 year old. And uh, they now use the barn as a wedding venue. And I asked him I, if he'd ever thought when he bought the place back in 59, if he thought it would look like it does now. And he said he had no idea. <laughs> makes more money now than he ever did with cows yeah. but that's the way it goes yep so we're on our way back to the barbecue we got a little uh car a roundup car show down there tonight and we got to have the caddy parked in it prominently and we'll uh yeah we got the look is playing the music today the look and they're a local band and they're just and they're really phenomenal. good phenomenal yeah 
also happen to be your cousins, but yeah, yeah besides that. <laughs> I gave Kevin his first guitar lessons. Yeah, well, he's gone quite a ways since then. A little bit. Yeah, he's <laughs> really an awesome guitarist. And Kathy, his wife, is a singer, and she does a great job, too. And Plus, she plays the drums. She plays it, yeah. She sings it like Phil Collins, only pretty. <laughs> Very pretty, yes. So we're riding along, and there's cars, and everybody's gawking at the car. And the Empress says, what? I said, why is everybody staring at us? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we're in a mammoth car from 50 years ago. Giant red monster <laughs> from 50 years ago. Well, it's, you don't see them every day anymore. No. I mean, they're just, it's unusual. People young are gonna kids, look. young kids have probably never seen anything like this in real life. Yeah. Unless we're lucky enough to have somebody who yeah, takes them to grandma. car shows and stuff. Yeah. Well, we haven't started our car show yet. It's about uh, another half hour before that starts, but I did bring the old F100 over. I threw a little sign on it so people subscribe to the channel. Got the caddy over here, and I even have in the back row the Farm All M. Kind of dirty. Been sitting under that shed all winter, and we haven't cleaned it up, so that is what it is. But we got a pile of nice cars already here. We got a cool old Cordoba. Yeah, cool. Fine Corinthian leather, the whole works. Man, I love this thing. Look at this. Yeah. It does got the fine Corinthian leather in there. Nice. This thing's clean, too. Wow. These didn't usually hold up so good. It had to sit in the garage for quite a while, and we got a nice... Well, this is actually my nephew's car, I'm pretty sure. Dodge Challenger 340. We got the newer Hemi RT, and that's Chris' partner in business, and this is Jim's uh, Charger RT. 396 Chevelle. How do you not love that? Look at that. It's a nice shape, too. Wow, gorgeous. Look at that. Wow, four on the floor. I love the white. I like a white car. Oh, man, it looks fantastic with a big block. We got this cool old truck here. He's just been putting fenders on it and patching it up as he goes. Kind of like what I want to do with the F100. But, yeah, you got to love an old truck like this. I just love an old farm truck. That's so cool. Got a couple Corvettes. And who doesn't like a Corvette? So we got the family here. We got everybody here. Holy smokes. This thing's off the hinges this year. So this is our car show. We just got interviewed by Channel 12 in Binghamton. That's kind of neat. They'll probably edit all the dumb things I said out. Darn it. Holy cow, this car show is taking off. I'm gonna go up top the hill and take a picture of it. There are monster trucks. Yeah, but all the big and big waves. Look at all the cars, Case. We gotta go down and see them. You ready? 1953 Nash Rambler Custom Wagon. Is that cool? Yes. Just a hood ornament. Wow, what a great turnout. There's Eddie's Mustang. I got a heck of a story for Eddie's Mustang. Well, looks like things are breaking up a little bit. This seems to be a pretty good spot to wrap up the series on the junkyard caddy really appreciate you guys have watched and commented and all that kind of thing and encouraged me throughout this process uh doing a series on this car i've got like over 60 videos on it um it was a it took a bit of time doing the project but you know the main thing is i'm not going for a perfect car we're going for a car that's drivable so we got a car that wasn't so horrible we couldn't you know just patch a few holes get some paint on it make it look decent fix a few things just like i show in all the videos and anybody could do it if they found a car that it was in decent enough shape like this was it's by no means ever going to be a perfect car it's probably not worth actually making a perfect car but man we had a lot of fun with it we had a lot of fun with it today a lot of people looked at it liked it and really we're excited about an old car that's just you know it looks looks decent not a perfect paint job nothing about it's perfect but really want to thank you guys for commenting i don't think i could have done it without all the encouragement i got from my friends on youtube Oh, the car show was a big success. We even got on our local Channel 12 Binghamton News. Uh -huh, that's pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about all that. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.